Everyone loves supercars, but if you haven't checked them out in a while, here are seven supercars you may not have known existed. Competition has always been intense among supercar builders, with new companies constantly stepping into the ring. Now Dutch company Venser and CEO Robert Coven has placed Holland squarely in the mix with the Venser Sarth. Now in production after three years of development, inspired by the 1980s Le Mans race cars and named after the Le Sarth portion of the race, this iconic supercar is a blend of past, present and future. The Sarth has a genuine GT feel with raw power from its 622 horsepower, 6.3 liter supercharged V8. Coming in at just 3,240 pounds, this Dutch Demon is capable of 0 to 60 in just 3.6 seconds and top speeds of 210 miles per hour. But this supercar isn't all brute. The Sarth's beautifully sleek carbon fiber body looks absolutely fabulous. Though futuristic, its short rolling front end and long rising tail are very reminiscent of the 80s Le Mans cars, which inspired it. This awesome supercar is now available for $350,000 and up. Read all about the Vencer Sarth at Vencer.nl. Canadian champion race car driver Antoine Bessette knows a few things about racing. Now CEO of Canadian corporation Felino, he's putting his knowledge into practice by building awesome supercars. Take a look at his current project, the Felino CB7. Its carbon fiber body is beautifully crafted with swooping curves, flaring wings, and vicious looking air intakes, easily matching even the most intense supercar lover's dreams. Since the CB7 is designed as a track car, the interior reflects that. For example, there's a removable racing steering wheel and the seats are made of molded carbon fiber with racing harnesses. A four-cylinder 6.2 liter V8 525 horsepower engine backs up the CB7's racing credentials. Though performance numbers have yet to be announced, experts estimate the CB7 will be capable of 0 to 60 in about 3.5 seconds. Felino reportedly has plans for a six-cylinder version, a street legal version, and an electric model. With a relatively low price tag of just $100,000, the CB7 is currently available for pre-order at FelinoCars.com. It's time to unleash the beast. California car maker Resvani has taken a British lightweight racer and transformed it into one of America's premier supercars, the Resvani Beast. Resvani began with a modified reinforced Ariel Atom carbon steel chassis with a widened wheelbase for better stability. Next, Resvani dropped in a 2.4 liter, 500 horsepower Rotrex supercharged engine topped off with an incredibly futuristic carbon fiber body. The Beast is as eye-catching as any supercar on the road. Although the Beast is street legal, everything about it says racing. The Beast has no top, no doors, and comes with a removable steering wheel. There's also no power steering or power brakes, allowing the driver to really feel the road. Even though the Beast is so light, only coming in at 1,650 pounds, it's still very easy to control. With all those ponies under its hood and its light weight, this Beast achieves 0 to 60 in just 2.7 seconds. Want a Beast in your garage? Well, right now, ResvaniMotors.com, a $1,000 deposit is all it takes to order one, with a total price tag of $165,000 due upon delivery. Croatian manufacturer and Tesla disciple Mark Remick has been involved with improving electric propulsion for years. He's already in the Guinness Book of Records for the fastest quarter mile time ever in an electric car, coming in at just 11.5 seconds in a modified BMW. 
Now he's formed his own company and released the Remick Concept One electric supercar. Powered by four lithium battery electric motors and gearboxes, the total output comes to a ridiculous 871 horsepower. Remick sets the Concept One's range at 205 miles, but since that's probably driving under normal conditions, good luck getting that far. We doubt you'd want to drive a car that performs like the Concept One normally. The Concept One is enclosed in a beautifully painted carbon fiber shell, shaped to look fast and intimidating. Recently, Remick introduced what they call the Concept One's evil twin, the Concept S. This electric monster packs 1,384 horsepower for 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds and top speeds of 226 miles per hour. So much for those slow, low-range electric cars you thought you knew. Check out the Remick Concept Supercars at Remick-AutomobileEye.com. Would you rather jet around in a 200 mile an hour supercar or a really fast spaceship on wheels? Well, British supercar maker Arash lets you do either or both with the AF8 or the AF10. The beautifully shaped AF8 only comes in yellow, but it's definitely not mellow. Its mid-positioned 500 horsepower 7 liter V8 engine translates into some serious speed with accelerations from 0 to 60 in just 3.5 seconds and a top speed of 200 miles an hour. The AF8 is a full-blown super-powered road reaper. Its cat-like headlights, low-slung body, and wide fenders give the AF8 a hardcore racing look. The lightweight carbon fiber body sits on a chassis made of high-strength steel, aluminum, and carbon fiber, making the AF8 one tough customer. The interior is carbon fiber with leather trim and includes a touchscreen infotainment system. For the meager price of just $245,000, this beauty can be yours. The AF10, which is the flagship of Arash Motors, is truly a marvel of design and innovation. Its iconic rear wing, plane-shaped body, and centered teardrop cabin definitely gives the AF10 a spaceship-like appearance. Innovation is key in the AF10's power plant, which Arash calls the warp drive system. Four electric motors and one supercharged V8 motor, each with its own gearbox, provide the AF10 with an insane 2,080 horsepower. At zero to 60 in just 2.8 seconds and top speeds of over 200 miles an hour, this spaceship supercar really flies. Now as for the price, an AF10 hybrid will set you back an astronomical $1.6 million, while the non-hybrid model is expected to start at just around $500,000. Find out more at arashcars.com. James Glickenhaus, famous for such supercars as the Ferrari P45, has struck out on his own with the creation of the SCG-003 supercar. Using a Ferrari Enzo as inspiration, the SCG-003 pays homage to Glickenhaus's Ferrari roots with its F1-style nose and split front fenders. With a stabilizing fin running down the back half of the car and high rear wheel arches, the SCG-003 looks like a sleek feline predator poised to strike. The gigantic swooping rear wing is quite impressive, especially when viewed from the rear. The twin turbocharged 600 horsepower Honda V6 definitely means business. This was recently proven when the SCG-003 smashed the Nürburgring lap record by a full five seconds on street tires with restricted horsepower. The SCG isn't aggressively trying to sell many cars, but for around $2.3 million, you might get one. Visit scg003project.com for more information. From the very beginning, the world of supercars has been dominated by European companies. However, California-based company Tryon Supercars has set out to change all of that with the Tryon Nemesis. 
According to Tryon Supercars, the Nemesis, which got its name to describe its superiority over European supercars, may be one of the most powerful supercars ever made. Even at a glance, its futuristic aerodynamic carbon fiber body exudes speed. Of the models available for pre-order, the ultimate monster is the 2,000 horsepower Nemesis RR. With a potential top speed of over 270 miles per hour and clocking in at 0 to 60 in just 2.8 seconds. The Nemesis RR's twin turbo V8 engine is engineered to leave the competition behind. Its 8 speed sequential transmission and all wheel drive make for smooth acceleration and excellent handling at any speed. With actively adjusting aerodynamics and street driving modes available, the Nemesis is ready for racing or just cruising down the road. The Nemesis is expected to hit the streets in 2017, with prices expected to be between $1.2 and $1.9 million. Check out the Tryon Nemesis at tryonsupercars.com. We hope you enjoyed checking out these awesome supercars. One question, which one did you already know? Tell us in the comments section below. And